What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Skate Park Showcase. Today I am in Central Florida at the Bushnell Florida Skate Park that is in the Kenny Dixon Sports Complex. It's a bit of a mouthful. It's not too big. I've only got a couple hours here, so let's just get right into it. Bushnell, Florida. Not a super huge place, but I was just traveling through Florida on the way home and figured I'd stop by here for a couple of hours and check it out and I am pleasantly surprised. The town is pretty small. It's right off the interstate in between Tampa and Ocala. It's about 45 minutes north of Tampa, right in central Florida. Just passing through the, through the town, there's not a whole lot here to see. So it's really nice that there is actually a skate park right here, right off the interstate. It is an all metal park. It is built by American Ramp Company, Arc Skate Parks. And I've said this many times before, not a huge fan of metal parks in the state of Florida because it gets hot out here and these ramps get very, very hot. I noticed that it's not very big, but it does have a lot of stuff, a lot of options available. And most Arc Skate Parks do a very efficient job at fitting a lot of good obstacles in a small space. So this is another good example of them doing that. And this is a layout that I've never seen before. It's similar to a couple of other ones and I'll get into that, but it's definitely a unique layout that I haven't come across before. It seems to be in good condition. There's not a lot of trash everywhere and there's not any bad wear and tear on the ramps. It's very skatable and seems like a safe skate park to be at. So there's basically three sections to this skate park. You've got the main street section, and then you have a mini ramp that's connected to it off to the side. And then you have a small flat ground section with just two obstacles. So on the flat ground section, there is a little launch ramp kicker. Pretty small, great for beginners. I prefer to have flat kickers and not curved ones, but this one's fine. There's plenty of runway so you can get speed for it and plenty of landing. And then off in the corner, there is an arc grind box and manual pad attached to it. One side's curved. I didn't bring any wax, so it was a little bit tough to skate, but I powered through 150-50 on it. And the other side is a nice, chill, really low manual pad. It's about eight foot long, super easy, great for beginners. The mini ramp is super solid. Arc knows how to build them. They're, the dimensions are always really good on theirs. It's four foot tall, it's 16 foot wide, and there is an eight foot flat in the bottom. And it's not super steep, it's, it's really mellow, so it's super fun to skate. Mini ramps are typically my favorite thing to skate. The coping is great, no issues with it, and there's an extension on one side that goes up to about five foot that's pretty easy to skate. On one side, it runs into a big platform. So let's talk about the street section. The street section is really crazy. It's got a lot to it. There's basically three different sections to it, so let's get into each of them. First, there's the big platform. There's a quarter pipe up at the top, a really long, wide flat, and then a steep bank coming down it, and you can get a ton of speed off of it. There's a big handrail on it. I didn't touch it because didn't feel like jumping down big handrails today, but it actually doesn't look that bad. It's a little bit steep, but I think if you're at the right skill level, you'll find it a lot of fun to skate. Right next to that is a ridiculous step up. Normally I love skating step ups, but this one just, it's, it's super steep and you can get good speed for it, but really steep ones that you really have to pop hard and get your pop just right. Otherwise you'll lose your balance or you'll try to jump up it and you won't, you'll miss your pop because it's so steep. So it took me a second to really get the hang of it. But once I did, I was able to land a couple things on it. And then next to that is this giant hubba ledge and it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> like it's really tall. Skaters could definitely skate it, but personally, I think it's maybe more inclined for BMXers, but it looks stable. It looks like it grinds really well. It, you can tell it hasn't really been grinded that much. So if you're into big hubbas, tackle it. On the opposite side is a quarter pipe section. So there's basically a six foot quarter extension on the left where you can get crazy speed. Love that a lot. That's great for going across and hitting that step up. Then there's an elevator down and then into a four foot. And then next to that four foot, it kind of breaks off at an angle and there's this little gap, kind of like a quarter pipe hip transfer. That thing's pretty cool. That pushes you out into the flat ground section. 
And then right here, smack dab in the middle, is their fun box. And sometimes they do a good job with their fun boxes. It's, it can be iffy. I've come across some that I don't really like, but this one is pretty solid. First, we've got the stair set. It's really easy to skate, and the flat is nice and long, eight foot long. So you can get good speed for it, and you have plenty of time to get set up to do your tricks down it. Right next to it is a handrail, and I looked at it and I was like, it's super low. It makes no sense to hit from the stair set platform. Uh, it's ridiculous. Tried to do one trick on it, and I was like, no, this is way too low. What I think you're supposed to do is hit it from this gap in the middle. And I've come across this a couple of times. The main time is we'll throw it all the way back to 2015, at the St. Mary's Georgia Skate Park. They have one of these and it's pretty gnarly. It's very weird. I've never seen anything like this other than at ARC skate parks. It's like a step up to a down bank. It's very strange. I didn't skate it as a step up, I skated it step down into it. Tried to make it to flat, but just couldn't do it. And I bruised my foot a little bit, so I just stopped trying it. But I was able to do that in St. Mary's one time. It's pretty cool. It just launches you way out. I would say, yes, you can air over the flat. I didn't. Typically, I would have liked to drop in on the six foot extension to air over the flat, but you can't go straight into the flat bank from the six foot extension. Instead, you hit a launch ramp. Now, I didn't skate that launch ramp or the hubba right next to it today, but I know that you can launch really high off of that thing. Because I've come across this at another one in Kingsland, and one of the issues I had is that with the launch ramp, you couldn't get enough speed to really launch out. And I was like, well, if they just flipped it around where you could hit the six foot extension quarter pipe into it, then you could get enough speed. Well, they did that here. So you actually can get enough speed to air over it if you're into like hitting launch ramps and going over flats. I didn't do it, but this skate park actually fixes that problem that I had with the Arc skate park in Kingsland. There's a nice little handrail. I'm an idiot and didn't bring wax. So I hit a 50-50 on the top because I tried to do like a lip slide and it was sticking really bad. Was able to grind it though. The down handrail is super nice, really mellow, not too steep, doesn't shoot you straight into the ground. It's really good. And that pretty much wraps it up. So as you can see, it's really small. Everything's a little bit tight and clustered together, but it's not too bad. You just have to skate around and really get used to it. These ramps are really great for getting speed. Metal ramps, there's not a lot of friction, so you can just really haul. Um, but it being in the state of Florida, it does get really hot out here. It's in a nice park area. There's a whole bunch of things to do out here. It gives really chill vibes. You can even see cows graze in the pasture right behind the skate park, which is pretty cool. There's basketball courts. There are baseball fields, softball fields, all sorts of stuff, playground. It's really nice out here. I think the baseball fields have lights. There are no lights out here, so it's pretty much open dawn to dusk, which is unfortunate. I would like to see all skate parks have lighting, but hey, sometimes the city just doesn't want skaters hanging out here at night. But there's no waiver, there's no gate, you just come up and skate. The place is clean and well kept, so either the skaters have been keeping it clean or the city has, so they do actually, they do care about the place, which is nice to see. So if you need a break on the interstate on 75 and you're traveling north from Tampa or down south towards Tampa, this place is a chill spot to just hop right off the interstate and come skate it for a little bit. And that's it, thank you for checking out another episode of Skate Park showcase real quick i want to give a huge shout out to my patreon supporters because of your monthly support it's able to keep me on the road gas prices are crazy and i'm always looking for an opportunity to come out and hit another skate park to showcase it for you guys so i want to say thank you so much for your support if you would like to support this channel just go to patreon.com slash park sharks as little as one dollar a month goes a really long way and if you can't support financially but you do want to help support the channel there are definitely ways to do that just like the video subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you know when i release new videos but most importantly just share the video with your friends because who knows maybe i'll cover a skate park that they've never heard of that they want to come visit here's what's coming up next <laughs>